Joe Hal do there, chums, as I, captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm jumping back into the Light No Fire, Light No Sky event that we're doing. Now, Miyogi, the master of pets, has put down a pet shack. And hopefully, you can go over to a, the pet shack when he's online and pick yourself up a lovely pet. Now, as you know, we left off last episode out at the oceans. I was looking for the very last creature. Now, I'm just waiting for Miyogi to come online. So while we're waiting for him to come online, I'm just going to dive into the oceans and see if I can spot this last freaking creature. Oh. Well, Jums, I just found the last remaining sea creature. I okay, guess so if I go into discoveries, I just picked it up. It's this one here. Look at that. I got him. Heck yes. Brilliant. Ha 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 So he was quite deep out in the actual oceans. I'm going to swim back to an island now, get out of the water. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to go and see Miyogi's shack. He's, he's not online as yet, but I know that he's built quite near to the actual portal. And the portal I've marked with a red beacon. And it's quite near to the hub, which is one of my bases. So I should be able to get to it relatively easy. The only thing is, you know, I have still got on the old PvP mode and all that sort of shenanigans. So going there, I do run the risk of getting murdercated. Let's have a look. View nearby players list. Oh, look, ghost lights online. I'm not seeing Miyogi there. I might have to call him. He might have fallen asleep or he might be having his lunch, you know. But anyway, we will try and get there, people. We will try. All right. OK, well, I'm back on land and where I need to head to. That's my base there. Hilltop Brew Crew. So where is that the hub? There's the hub portal all the way over there. So that's where I need to head to. So I'm going to call in my little um, budgie. So if I face the opposite way of where I want to go and call him in here like like so. You should be facing the way I want to go. It's a bit weird. You have to face the opposite direction. Here we go. And let's go. Right. I'm on my way, people. I will let you know if something eventful happens. Ah! I've jumped off of him by accident. Oh, for fudge's sake. I pressed the jump button, people. That's what I blinked did, didn't I? Okay, here we go. And, uh... Ah! Yeah. Menus. I hate them. Okay. Ah! He flew off! All right. Let me sort this out, peeps, and uh, ride. Let me on. Okay, right. I won't fall off of him this time. I'm facing the wrong way now. I didn't use my tactic of facing the opposite direction, did I? All right, I'll see you if something amazing happens and not falling off the budgie. Okay, people, that was very short-lived. Yeah, because I was out in sea. He's not very good for taking you across the oceans. He drowned. Um, you can't fly birds over the oceans. Unlike in Light No Fire, where their flying mounts clearly take them over a massive body of water. Hello games, can you please fix the flying fauna in No Man's Sky? Just that little bit of code that you've got on the dragons in Light No Fire? Please put it in No Man's Sky. Thanking you in advance. Okay, chums, well on the way to Miyogi's sort of place and to the hub, there is an ancient ruin that's only 12 minutes away, so I'm going to use my bird. And hopefully get there a little bit quicker. Come on then. I just got stuck in the terrain though using him and I, I, I nearly died. Which, talking of which people, if you do die because of a bug or a glitch and if you manage to record it all the better, sort of send it over to myself, Cynical or, or Ricey, your faction leader basically, with what happened. I mean, I've had people say that they've been killed by a sentinel dog that managed to zap them while they're in their own base or in a building, or if they managed to seal them into a cave or something like that. So if that sort of thing happens, let us know if a game bug killed you, not a player and not your own stupidity, then fine, we might be able to grant you the ability to log back in again, you know, just like a like a pass, a free pass to get back in. Because we, we've all been playing No Man's Sky for a long time. And we know that you can die and it's not your fault. It's the game's fault. So yeah, be sure to catalogue what happens and let us know. And we'll be fair and firm, you know. And there's a good chance you might be able to get back in. Otherwise, you know, you have to wait until the next planet. Which could be a good month and a good month away yet. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I've arrived at Gated. At an ancient relic site. Whoa, ho, ho. 
Hey girls, let's see if we get a better treasure here. I'll dig up the free keys and I'll let you know when I'm about to be dig up the chest. Okay chums, I'm at the big chest. Let's see if we get lucky <clears throat> with the contents, shall we? Let's see what we get. Open sesame. Ah, oh, great. I just got some more of those petals. It's another biological sample, which is worth freaking not much. Yeah, so they're the treasures I've managed to get myself. I've still got two spare keys. I might eat these. Gives me a little bit of extra on my life support. There you go. Lovely. Okay, right. So we're still heading towards the hub. Is that the hub over there? No, that's my brew crew. So the hub is not too far away from there, to be honest. Shouldn't be anyway. I've lost my base. Fudge. There it is. Over there. Hub portal. Four hours away, apparently. Okay, right. Well, I've, I've got a lot of flying to do then, people. I really did go quite a distance to go out to sea, didn't I? So I only got myself to blame. And all this time I could be picked off by another player. Because, you know, there's a lot of them about right now. Okay, so there we go. Let's head this way. Now you've got to kind of avoid these giant rocks. It doesn't actually count them as being terrain. And the reason why I want a different flying creature is this creature at the moment keeps doing this dive bombing malarkey. Now, Miyogi says that he's got another bird that doesn't do this. Apparently the smaller birds that you can only just about ride do this. But the slightly bigger ones do not. <clears throat> and you can see how annoying it is. This whole, it's like being on a freaking dolphin or something, isn't it? Okay, well I'll see you when I get there, because, you know, if it's annoying me, this must be annoying you immensely. Right, now I've been flying for about, what, eight minutes, ten minutes? And it said four hours earlier, didn't it? It now says three hours, so it that time dimension when you're on a bird just really doesn't make any sense. Just keep flying, and it just ticks down by the hour. It, do it doesn't actually go down in increments that make any sort of sense. I was like, oh my god, this is actually really going to take me four hours. And then, no, it just dropped like a massive swave all of a sudden. Now, as I'm flying, I am trying to keep my eye peepers peeled for um, sack venom. The only trouble is, with all this upping and downing, I'm starting to feel a little bit queasy. <laughs> yeah, fun times. What's this over here? Okay, there's a little tower there. I did fly past a minor settlement earlier. I was so tempted to stop and take a look at the multi-tool. But then being leaders, we've all got the staffs, me, Ricey, and Cynical. Now, over on Discord, on my Discord, I don't know about theirs, but on my Discord, my faction has been sharing coordinates of minor settlements that have got multi-tools that are either an A-class or S-class. Or even machinery and stuff like that that contain really good S-class modules. And they're given the X and Y coordinates and they're in and around where our faction actually is. So you can travel to them without fear of getting mullered or killed. So if you're on Discord, go and hit up the area for Light No Sky on my Discord server for some rather crafty and awesome coordinates. Yeah, really I should have stopped at that um, minor settlement and just checked the multi-tool and added to it. But this is so far north of our settlement, I didn't see it as worth it because the trek is just insane if you haven't got one of these flying birds. So there we go, people. Oh, would you look at that, people? I've just spotted a relic site. I don't know whether this is the one with treasure on. It's not. It's where you can learn of a place to go to get treasure, though. I guess. Let's uh, go down there. Let's let's go hit it up. Oops. Ouch. That hurt my legs. Might as well learn a word or two why we're here. Now, a lot of what you see here, like these weird symbols, we kind of see those in Light No Fire, which kind of makes me want to choose like this, this first objective of finding these relic sites as one of the first things we do, because I am kind of think we're going to see places like this in Light No Fire. There we go. La 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 la. And which choice is it? Seek knowledge of the past, please. Find me another relic site that I can go and get some treasures. I guess. Oh, is that some sack venom to the south of this? 
the opposite direction to where that is. How far away is that? 19 minutes away. I think I might have seen some sack venom when it was zoomed all the way out, but the chances of me of finding it is very slim. Well, I haven't heard from Miyogi, so you know what? I'm going to fly to that relic site and dig up that treasure as well. Okay, Jums, well, I've arrived, Dakota, at the next ruin site, and you know the drill. I need to get some keys. You know what? I might just dig up one key and then uh, go and dig up the actual chest. Now, something I completely forgot, as I went past an alien grave in the last episode, didn't I? Well, somebody hit me up in the comments and said, Captain Steve, they give you memory fragments of technology. You might have passed up on an awesome bit of tech. Dang it, I completely forgot that they did that. So yeah, the next time I see a grave, if I'm ever that lucky again, I'll have to dig it up. Oh, for fudge sake, just give me an epoxy key. Well, where is it then? Ah, it's underneath the ground, isn't it? Dang it, I hate this. I hate it when this game trolls you like that. Look, I can't even reach it through the ground. Oh, I got it through the ground. Brilliant. Lovely. Okay, right. I go dig up the chest. Where's the chest? There it is. Large chest. 31 news away. Let's just go grab, grab it. Oh, fudging heck. Sometimes it's easier just to go out, isn't it? And then go back down again. I'm forever topping up this freaking life support in this mode. I think the next time I get the ability to get myself a, a freaking X-Class module from a landed trader, I, I think I might get myself a, a life support module. Now I've lost the blinking chest. There it is. There we go, people. Oh, I just got given some samples from Ghostlight. Is he? Is he nearby? Okay, well, I just got some as well. Heck yes. The Ghostlight must be right by me. Where is he? There he is. Hello, mate. Aha! Brilliant! Thank you, Ghostlight! If you haven't watched any of Ghostlight's videos, he's doing some awesome videos. Yeah, thank you. I d How the fudge did you find me? It's not like he joined my game or anything. He must have just flown here on his pigeon. This is mental. I guess. Boom! I have no idea how you got here. Yeah. Dancey, dancey. I guess. Brilliant, eh? Thank you very much for handing over your treasures to me. So yeah, we got that. We got this. We got this. I got all sorts. Oh, he's giving me sack venom as well. I, I wonder if he's got anything else to give me. Um, here you go. Have that. And um, what else can I give you? Um, I don't have much else I can give you. Have that. I have no idea. Mainly because I've run out of space. I've, I got no space, mate. I got I got no space left. I and um, right. Sorry, I didn't really have much I could give you in return. Um. Oh look, he gave me some mysterious meat stew. Thank you. I will eat that. Yum yum. <laughs> right eh? Uh, where are we going? So I need to get back to the hub, don't I? So hub, 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 hub. That's my sh that's my normal base. Oh, there's somebody over there. There it is over there. There we go. So that's where we're going. Uh, here we go. And I need to get rid of my budgie. Oh, that, that, that fudging heck. Yeah, right. Get rid of my budgie. I already had him out, apparently. And right. Here we go. Let's go. I've got three hours flight, people. Yeah, well, that's good. Ghostlight came and found me. The only worrying thing about that, people, is there's other people out here right now that have got flying pets that are far better than mine and could catch me up as quickly as Ghostlight did. And they're not as friendly. They're not from my faction. They could kill me. Okay? Now, something that I've found when you're on these flying mounts is you can actually use your scanner like this. Now, I don't know whether that means I'm going to be able to spot the free star items on this planet. 
i.e. sac venom, why flying over the planet like this? I haven't done enough experimentation as yet, people. Or do the free stars show up when you do a scan like that? I don't actually know, people. So, yeah, it's, I've got to do a bit more experimentation. If I do find out a, a surefire way to find sac venom, I'll be sure to let you know. But, yeah, I just got gifted some by good old Ghostlight, which was lovely of him. Thank you very much. That puts us on the scoreboards, at least on that stent. Thank you, Ghostlight. I guess. Okay. Let's do another little test. It still says three hours on the old clock, doesn't it? But I did just go and fly 15 minutes in the opposite direction to go to that relic site. Oh, look, there's a load of oxygen there. Oxygen is a must. So I am stopping for oxygen if I see a massive clump like this, people. Because you do need it for swimming. And you do need it while you're in survival mode. Massively need it in survival mode. More than anything else. You need oxygen. Yeah, I'm finding that is a little bit tedious. So I suppose you could just get yourself a load of life support gel if you go visit a galactic trade terminus. I think that's where I'll be investing some units at some point. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at all that lovely oxygen. Right, well, I still haven't heard from Yogi. I know he's got a lot going on in real life, so it could be that he's got waylaid with things, people. Oh, well. Well, I can get as close as possible. Look, it's gone down to two hours now. Okay, so we're getting closer. I guess we are. Oh, darn it. I'm going to despawn my bird. And ride. Ride, my pretty, ride. Okay, here we go. Two hours. All right. Cool. It's not going to be two hours. Uh, fudge, people. There's a massive storm that's just come in. And not only that, I seem to have hit the seaside. I don't know how, because as you know, I flew all this way before without encountering a massive swathe of ocean. And I think I'm going to go plop into this in a moment, and I'm going to have to end up swimming for hours and hours and, like, literally hours. Come on, bird. Fly up high. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're in the water. OK. Well, at least it's during a storm, but I've got miles to swim now, people. This is going to take me a month of freaking Sundays, isn't it? Ah, fudge. I bet you now that I'm not looking for that freaking large underwater creature, one swims right past me, because that's just the way things are inside of this game, isn't it? You know? I bet you. I bet you when I'm not looking for one, it just scutters past me. It, it, it's going to be a thing. Tell you what, though, chums, all this swimming I've done, I've actually found out a better way to swim. So when you're under the water, here you go, just use your jetpack for about three seconds. One, two, three, then release. Then one, two, three, then release. One, two, three, then release. One, two, three, then release. Almost like you're swimming in real life. Do a bit of paddling and just let the inertia take you. Freaking works lovely. Look at that. See what I mean? And if you stay near to the surface, when your oxygen gets a little bit low, just breach the surface. Heck yeah. Yeah. It is probably something you guys already knew. But, you know, it's, it's, it's working for me. All this swimming sort of paid off. You just wait for it to go back up to the top, hold it back down again for a few seconds. You can even do it a little bit quicker than every three seconds if you want. But even still... This is a, it's a long freaking way to bloody swim. So, I don't know what went wrong there. But at least those giant fish haven't swim, swam past me yet. My bird keeps flying past me under the water. Which is kind of a bit of a tease, isn't it? Look at him. See, there he goes again. Little git. Yeah. All right, fine. Yeah, okay, I get you. I get you can swim, freaking bird. Okay, right. Anyway, this is going to take me freaking time. So hopefully see you later, people. Well, chums, this keeps happening. Data Bean has requested to be your friend in No Man's Sky. There you go. I'm accepting. But last time he sent me an invite to join his game. And I nearly freaking drowned because I sunk to the bottom of the bloody water. So I quickly disabled that. Well, I didn't disable it because you can't disable friends requests or, or invites to play. But yeah, fun times. Looks like I'm nearing land now, people. But this is... 
taken me ages. I tried to get up there, but it wouldn't let me. Get running out of jetpack fuel. Get getting weird. But anyway, people, we're slowly getting there. I've been swimming all night. Look, the sun's coming up now. Fudging heck. Okay, back to my swimming method. Lovely. There we go. I'm on my way. Yes. Look at when you use your jetpack in water in survival mode. You see my little heart down there, my life support. When I press it, look, uses free bars. Look how quickly that drains just for swimming. That's why you need a lot of oxygen. I'm glad I bought and picked up a stack of it on the way here, but it's all going to be gone by the time I get to this poxy island over here. And then there's probably more ocean at the other side. Holy fudge. Oh, ghost lights just left the system. But I'm nearly at this island now. It hasn't taken me like an hour. Okay, right. Charms. Yeah, there's another swathe of freaking ocean. Now, I did try getting some oxygen here by zapping those plants but you see that pesky sentinel over there kept telling me off little git okay right let's see how far i can get with my bird this is tedious okay come on birdie my bird bird he's feeling downhearted not as downhearted as me okay right let's let's do this fly like the wind no don't fly down oh fudge heck okay well, that was like a game of joust, wasn't it? Well, chums, it, it happened again. I freaking got another invite and it sunk me. I'm, I'm swimming for freaking miles. And I think I might have just spotted another blinking plaque. Oh, no. Pirates have engaged me, people. Pirates have engaged me. Pirates have found me somehow. Hopefully they can't get me underwater. That would suck if they can. But it's not like I can fight them off or anything, is it? How the fudge did they spot me? I'm just swimming around, minding my own business. It's not like I can take them out either, you know? The only real way I know how to get rid of pirates is to put down a save point, save and reload. Kind of a bit cheaty really, isn't it? Otherwise they're going to kill me because there's no cover out in the ocean. Let's hit this up. Let's hope they don't get me while I'm interacting with this, eh? There we go. Oh, look, they're, they're coming round the back of the frickin' thing. Okay. Oh, would you look at Seek that people. from the past? I'm, I still haven't got across that lake. But look, it just dropped down to 57 minutes. So that's good. I guess it is. Well, kind of. Still feels like this lake has been going on for longer than the frickin' sea at this rate. Come on! Get out! All right, we're just going to get out of here. Then hopefully I can curveball round to where I need to go. I've just had enough of freaking swimming now to last me a freaking week. I tell you. Yeah, Hello Games could do with patching flying creatures to make it so they actually fly above water. God, that's tedious. Okay, right, here we go then. Here we are. Bird? So far, I would say that's probably my worst point of crossing the... I actually really enjoy using just mounts to get around. It's been quite blissful at times. However, what I would say is I need a better bird because this one's a bit squiffy, as I pointed out earlier, people. But we've still got... Hold on. Well, where's, where's, that, where's that relic site gone? Oh, there it is. Whoa! I don't want to fly across water again. Ah, there's another plaque. All right, well, we'll hit that up as well. I'm finding loads of plaques just by flying around. Ow! Right, eh? Cool. I'm going to have loads of treasure to take back. Okay, here we go. Really, rather than go to... Oh, crud! Damn it! I learned a bloody word! Dang it! Damn! 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 I'm trying to skip the bloody text. Alright, I'm fine. Yeah, what I was going to say is I might as well go to my... I should have gone back to my base to drop off all this stuff. Because if I do get killed, I don't know what happens to all of that. I think in survival mode you lose it all, don't you? Seven minutes to there. Yeah, we might as well go visit that plaque. How far away is my other base? Three hours. Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? 
should have gone back to my base first, just in case, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm really running the risk of losing it all. I would not be happy if I get zapped. Come on. Gently pat. I mean, even if those blinking pirates come back and attack me while I'm on my bird, I'm in trouble, aren't I? Okay, let's try and fly around this, shall we? Rather than over it, because I'm just going to go back into the drink again. Lovely. Swooping low, crush the oceans deep. We're walking in the air. We're flying through the mountain stream. The people down below, they watch us as we go. Tweet, tweet. I guess. Destination reached. Lovely jubbly. Let's dig up the keys. Let's get the chest. I'll show you what I find. Okay, got another friend's request. Yeah, go. Thank you very much. Okay, right. The only thing is, they also send you invites to join them and play and stuff. And yeah, oh, while I'm trying to make a video, probably not the best thing. And that's that's kind of all I do. But they're, they're probably going to want to drop drop off loot as well, aren't they? But I need to be back at my base, really, before they attempt to do that. If they come and try and find me here, they could just be finding themselves in a lot of trouble that they can't get out of. That's my worry as well, you know. I'm a team leader, but I'm also doing the missions. On Fridays is where I'm just going to stay at my base. Okay, On a Friday, I'm not going to do no missions. I'm just going to let people come to me and hand things in. So if you've got a load of treasure, or if you've got a load of sack fed them, and you need to come give it to me on a Friday. I will be at my base. Hopefully you've built your base near to mine so you can drop all this stuff off. All right. OK, um, right. We're near to the hub now. 43 minutes away. Let's uh, get my bird and let's go there. You know what? The next time we reconvene, if I don't come across something super awesome, we're just going to be there. This is a long episode. Ooh, he jumps. Um, I've just realised I'm out of the good old hazardy protection stuff. So I was just flying over a hollow terminus. I jumped in here. I am pretty low on sodium nitrate now. So any storms that hit me, I'm pretty much a done for. Um, I didn't realise how low I was getting. So this has really put me in a strange, sticky situation. So let's leg it out. Oh, good. The storm has stopped now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run over here. Hit up this. That's going to give me some navigational data. And check these boxes. See if I get given something like an ion battery. Which would be lovely if I do. I've got navigational data. And I've got some nanites out of the box. There's a little bit of sodium there. It's not quite enough though, is it? For going on an adventure. Ah, there's some oxygen right there. Oh no, I used the train manipulator. Like a freaking tool. Okay, was that the beacon that I put down earlier? How random is that? Did I just do that by accident? I don't know. Anyway, head on over here. Because there's this beacon here, I can call my ship in. Okay, so we are. Call my ship. At least I can bring the ship that little bit closer. And I can jump in and out of it. Now what I want to be able to do is craft some launch thruster fuel if I possibly can. Just so I can use this as a portable sort of base. So I need some metal plating for that. Okay, right. Not for fudge sake, just give me the metal plating. There we are. Is that all the metal plating I can actually build? You're having a laugh. Have I not got loads and loads of ferrite dust? No, I haven't got loads and loads of ferrite dust. Dang it! Okay, right. It looks like I'm going to be stopping myself here for a little while. So I need to make a little bit of room now. I've got too much treasure. I should have gone to my freaking base on the way back, shouldn't I? Okay, right. Let's stick that in there. Let's spin that into nanites. Lovely. That's that's freed up a slot. Just one. Ah! I should have done the living slime as well. Let's do the living slime. 
Living slime, where are you? There you are. It goes into runaway mold, and then that's going to go into nanites. That's going to take a little while. Why that's going though? I should zap some rocks, and uh, we we get some ferrite. That's some pure ferrite there. Okay. Well, we need to make a, a load of metal plating because basically I haven't got enough to make myself any ion batteries. I could go into a cave and get a load of um, cobalt. Actually, can I? I've got some cobalt on me. Have I got enough to make myself a couple of these things? Where are they? Ion, ion batteries, where are you? That's not you. There you go. Oh, I can make a couple, can I? There we are. I can make a shed load of them. That'd do. I've got 14 of them. That should be enough for the rest of my journey. Okay, right. Okay, well, at least I could make some more launch thruster fuel, just in case I get seriously stuck. Yeah, well, that's going to take a little while anyway. Alright. Uh, can I create... Oh, no, I didn't didn't get enough ferrite dust. Alright, well, I'm just going to zap a few rocks, and I'll be right back with you in a bit, people. I'm going to scan these. Oh, yeah, scan that. Lovely. Oh, I'm getting some sodium from shooting these rocks. It's hard to spot these rocks in this undergrowth. Take that, crystals. I'll get some oxygen from zapping him. Alright, well, I, I think you know the, the drill of zapping basics anyway, don't you? You know? What about you? Can I get some... No, it's pure ferrite. I don't know whether that's, that's going to work for metal plating, is it? Well, you know what, chums? It's getting quite late here in the UK. I've still got this spinning up. And um, I'm going to wait for that to finish, but I think I'm going to be calling this an evening now. I've still got a little way to go, but Miyogi hasn't logged in. The only thing is, I'm actually working in the office for the next two days. Oh, shite! Get in my ship! Okay, right, I think I'm going to be logging off now. I'm going to create a save. I'm going to get back in my ship as quick as I can before I die. And I'm going to log off right now. All right, cool. There we go. And quick to mode select. Yes, I'm okay with that. Fudge and hack. So you definitely don't want that to happen. The only reason I was allowed to quit out then is basically because I'm at a resting point and I was about to log off anyway. Otherwise, if you're out in the open and you're you get attacked by pirates, you can pretty much guarantee you're gonna die. Burrow underground. You should train manipulator, go underground and go deep. Yeah, hopefully they won't be able to zap you and just wait for them to do one if you've got a portable save point with you once you get underground and you've tunneled and you're in a point of safety make a save point then you should be allowed to reload you know you can't just reload or quit out if you're about to die basically you have to be at a base or undercover or somewhere where they can't get you i could have gone into one of those little caravans at that little point anyway i could have been safe anyhow and i'd already called my ship in so i can take refuge in that anyway people have a good goodbye goodbye and goodbye again